niggas hating on you with their friends, girl, you got it. Yeah. I said, what it do, what it is, what it do, foo, foo. It's your girl, Lord B. Customs. Come on, do it with me. Do it with me. And I'm back again with another video. So, as you can tell by the title, today what we're going to be doing, LV Burns. My infamous, famous LV Burns. The design that really put me on the map. Go to over 5 million views on Instagram from this design alone. Well, not this particular design, but the LV design in general. Now, before we get into this video, I'm going to need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe, most importantly, and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time that I drop a new video. I'm going to be taking you step by step on how I do the LV burn, specifically the aqua LV burns. I'm going to show you how I paint on the soles, how to paint the sock liner, how to paint the tongue, how I keep the paint on the soles and keep them from chipping, scratching or peeling or anything like that. So with that being said, before we get into this video, follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram right here. And also follow me on TikTok. Here's my TikTok right here. And without further ado, man, let's just go ahead and get into this custom. Hey! All right, child. So we're going to start off with prepping the shoes. Grab your acetone and your cotton balls. And we're going to acetone the entire shoe, including the tongue area, because those that area will be painted as well. So acetone the tongue, the whole entire upper of the shoes, as well as the soles. Then this is the most important step is the primer. So now we're going to hit the entire shoe with some primer. The primer that I use is from Liquid Kicks and they have the best primer in the world. I cannot cap on this, the best primer in the world. This helps the paint adhere to the shoe and, and it just keeps a better bite for, for the paint to bite onto the leather as well as the so rubber So first thing soles. we're painting is the tongue area. I go, when I have to paint the entire shoe, I paint the inside of the shoe first and then I paint the outside of the shoe. So I paint the tongue first the inside of the tongue, um, the sock liner part of the tongue, as well as the sock liner. Once that is, once the tongue is painted, I go ahead and I tape off the tag so I can keep that white and keep paint from um, getting on the tag. And how I do my mix y'all for painting the sock liner is I don't use too thin. For me, too thin can, can get sticky. I don't really like it. So I mix my paint with water. I do about a 20 to 80 ratio, 20% water, 80% paint. You don't want the paint too runny and you don't want the paint too thick. So just keep that in mind. I do about a 20 to 80 ratio, 20% water, 80% paint. And for the sock liner, you're going to do about three coats of uh, paint I paint um, I do one layer dry it completely make sure that it's dry do another layer dry it completely and then another layer I make sure that I do even coats around um, so that it can be evenly distributed across the sock liner and it looks right but yes that is how I do my sock liners I do not use too thin it's just my preference I'm not saying it's the right way I'm not saying it's the wrong way I'm saying it's the Lord V way this is how I do it All right, and once we have the sock liner painted, we're gonna go ahead and do the outer um, area of the shoes. Now, I did skip the most of the painting on the outside, but I will say that I do add primer into my paint when I do paint the outside of the shoe, um, the leather part and the rubber part. I add a little bit of that liquid kicks um, primer to the paint, and um, that actually helps with the paint sticking on as well. So for this part, um, I'm taping off the uppers and I use a bag and I'm going to rip a piece of tape in half and I'm going to use the frayed area, the, the area that is ripped in the middle. I'm going to use that as a guide for my um, burn effect. So as you see, I'm pointing, I'm not going to use the straight edge, the straight edge I'm going to put on the actual 
uh, bag, the plastic, and then the ripped part of the tape, that's the part that I'm gonna lay down on the shoe for the burn effect. And I use the tape to mask off the areas that I don't want the paint on um, to get on. And I just go around and I tape off the entire shoe. Now, when I do my burn effect, I kind of do like a, a peak or like a mountain peak type of vibe where I go up and down. As you can see, like the, the tape is going up around this, the, the swoosh and then it's coming back down. I feel like that gives it the dopest like burn effect. Um, yeah, it, it just gives a good burn effect. So you're gonna tape around the entire shoe, making sure that there's no holes in the bag. And yes, I do use plastic bags. This is what I use. I'm not saying it's the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way. It's the Lord V way. This is the way that I do it every single time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you heard? Yeah, so just make sure that um, the bag doesn't have any holes. And if it does, just put some tape over those holes so that it doesn't, any paint doesn't get in the areas that you don't want paint to get on. Because we're about to paint the lower area in a navy blue. And there you go. So we're going to use our Angelus navy blue next. And the area that's not masked off, we're going to paint that entire area navy blue because that's what the LV symbols are going to appear as in the custom they're going to be um they're going to be navy blue so you're going to do about six to seven coats of the navy blue and i say that many coats because you want to add as many layers as you can and as you see i flip the shoe upside down and i get in all the cracks and all the crevices of the shoe um, cause when you airbrush, you have to make sure that you get every area. You can't just brush in one direct airbrush in one direction. You have to flip that shoe over, um, get it in parts that the, the airbrush may not be hitting initially, but yeah, you're going to do about seven coats of the Navy blue. And now it's time to add the LV symbols. I make my own LV symbols. I cut them out with my Cricut cutter. Um, I also sell these in sheets. So you can get a 12 by 24 sheet, which yields you about three customs. Um, or you could do a 12 by 12, which will yield you about one custom. Um, hit me up in the DMs on my Instagram if you do want to purchase. I sell the 12 by 12 for $12 and the 12 by 24 for $24. All right, next step. Four different paints. I'll show you three, but it's actually four. It's the Aqua LV Blue, which is pale blue and white mix. Then a flat white by itself. Then a custom um, blue that I make, which is navy blue and light blue, and then pale blue by itself. So first we're gonna take the aqua blue, which is light blue and white mixed. And we're gonna add about four coats of that to the, to the lower area of the shoe. And then next you're gonna take your flat white and we're gonna do like kind of like a cloud effect. I'm gonna just pick random areas and add some white to those random areas. And I'm gonna do about three coats of this. When you are airbrushing guys, um, you don't have to pull down on the nozzle so hard. Um, and don't have the airbrush so close to the shoe as well. Or it can cast like, overspray and um you know just it can mess up the custom so i'm gonna do about three different coats of this white and then i'm gonna go in with the custom blue lv burn which is navy blue and light blue mixed and i'm just gonna add that to random areas of the shoe as well and right now it might look a little funny but once you take the lv symbols off um it really you know, the custom really comes together. So you just gotta trust the process. Again, I'm gonna do about three coats of this blue. Then I'm gonna grab my pale blue. 
and I'm gonna go straight in with that in random areas as well All right, now we on to the fun part. So we're gonna remove the bag and the tape from the uppers. And this is how, this is when you're gonna be able to tell if you did a good tape job. If you don't have no overspray, no leakage coming through, nothing like that. That's when you know you did a good paint job. And so now we're gonna remove the LV symbols. And y'all see this custom is really coming to life. It's really coming together now. All those random areas of the different blues and the whites, you know, it, it really brings this custom all together once you take the LV symbols off. And I would also say when you're taking the symbols off, don't wait until the shoe. I, I always take the symbols off right after I dry the entire shoe and the shoe is still a little warm or hot from the heat gun um it allows the the stencils to come off easier and it also does not pull the tape i mean the paint off because the paint isn't is dry but it's still not fully dry if you get what i'm saying So for the burn effect, I use one color and that is dark gray. When I do the burn effect, as you can tell, I go in with a ragged, rugged line. And I go over this line about three to four times. I keep a good distance to where I'm about, what, six inches away from the shoe. And... As far as the throttle goes on the airbrush, um, I think I'm giving it about 30, 40% throttle. Um, and yeah, the, the goal for this is to make it look like it's a real burn effect. So you don't want the line to be straight. I make sure my, my lines are rugged and you wanna make sure that you have enough gray covering that line that was originally there from when the tape was on the shoe. Once I have my line to where I think it looks good, I'm gonna add a little, what's it called, Vinget or Viget, um, where I just kind of do like some overspray of the gray to the uppers and some parts of the lowers as well. All right, y'all, so now it's time to add the actual like burn effect um, with the fire effect. So for this, we're gonna use fire red and yellow. These are the only two colors I use. I do not use orange and you'll see why. Um, so when I do my burn effect, I dip my paintbrush in the red and yellow together. I have a thin paintbrush like that. And as, you, as you're gonna see, I dip it in both paints at the same time. So boom, boom. I, I really can't explain it, but you'll see how it works. It's not just giving like a, I don't like to dip my paintbrush in the yellow and just have yellow and then just do red. Um, I like the yellow and the red to kind of be mixed together. I feel like it makes the effect, the burn effect. It just looks so much more realistic. So dip your paintbrush in the yellow and the red together. Trust me. I'm, I'm telling y'all, just do it the way I do it. You won't go wrong. Just do it the way I do it. Dip your paintbrush in both at the same time. Apply it to the shoe. And not only that, you knock this part out within minutes. I think it takes me no longer than three minutes to do this on each shoe. And there might be some areas where I might go back and hit it with a little bit more red or a little bit more yellow. But yeah, this is how I do my burn effect.
Again, you want to make the lines rugged, no straight lines. If you have done lightning bolts before, it's kind of like doing lightning bolts, like the lightning effect. As you see there, had too much red, so I'll just go in, dab it up with a little yellow. and dry it and there you go look at that shmoney honey all right what's a good custom job if you don't lock it in with a good finisher and with that being said the only finisher that i use is liquid kicks top coats matte top coats um so i'm gonna hit the entire shoe the tongue area the soles, the uppers, I'm going to hit all of those areas of the shoe with about three coats of finisher. I'm going to allow about two to three minutes of drying time in between each coat. Um, after I dry it, I allow the, the finisher to cool down and then I go over with another layer. And this is because you don't want to oversaturate each layer of finisher. Um... It'll actually be redundant in using and the finisher will actually peel off. So that's what you don't want. All right, and last thing to do after you put your finisher on is to lace them up. Y'all, if y'all found any value in this video, if you made it to the end, you found any value, drop a GOAT in the comments right now. Drop G-O-A-T in the comments right now. And let's see what these bad boys is looking like. twin so yeah there you go there you go i showed you step by step on how i do the lv burns so anyways um thank you guys if you made it all the way through the end thank you guys again like share comment subscribe hit that bell notification follow me on all platforms all platforms please run me up on all platforms and again run this video up most importantly you feel me fuck with your girl fuck with me because i'm really like i said i'm gonna keep saying it until y'all really run me up i'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year so i don't have long i'm almost there i'm like 100 and some odd away and i just need y'all to keep running me up man keep showing love uh let me know what else y'all want to learn i can also do some um other videos like as far as like the business side of the shoes go you know whatever it is y'all want to learn just let me know because we're gonna run this thing up together man i i so with that being said it's your girl Laura B customs and i'm checking out hey